So this is the gripper on the 530L loader for the Eagle and the 5000 system. When the gripper is open, full open like this, it should be adjusted so that there's a little bit of play, end play, in the system. There needs to be a little clearance between the top bearings and the end plate. Doesn't have to be much, about a sixteenth will do it. If that play is not there, then the cylinder full strokes, the bearing plate leans against the end tabs and it will knock the end tabs off eventually. This is the sensor that tells the controller that the cylinder is fully extended. So when the cylinder is all the way out, the red light should be on. If the red light is not on when it's fully extended, there are two set screws up here that hold it to this rod and you can move it in or out as necessary to get the light on. The light must be on for the gripper assembly to go home. So this sensor on the gripper cylinder tells it when it's fully collapsed instead of fully extended. If this sensor light comes on, that, that means that the cylinder is fully in and it has not gripped the door and it knows that there's no door in the gripper. So this is the cylinder that's called the Justify cylinder and what it does is it positions the hinge side of the door at the same location every time after the door is picked up so that it can position the hinge side next to the fence on the loader. So every time when it goes home and it brings the door over, the cylinder will extend to justify the gripper. When it's retracted, the red light should be on this sensor. And when it extends, the red light should be on on this sensor. So these brackets here should be adjusted so that the cylinder will extend all the way and it'll push them up against the plate but not really have any tension against it. Shouldn't really have a lot of tension against it. Just push it up into, just push it up into place. So these plastic bearings slide on the aluminum extrusions. That's what allows it to move in and out and grip the doors. The plastic bearings are held on with the two bolts that come up through here. So normal inspection would be to look and make sure that the nuts are on the bolts and that the bolts haven't backed down, backed off into the plastic bearing. If the bolts fall out, they can come out into the slot, then they will cause problems. They'll get jammed up and the bearings can fall off and they need to be replaced. When the gripper is fully collapsed and pulled in for the smallest size door, the distance between the rubber pads should be approximately 17 inches. The gripper is capable of picking up a 1-6 door, which is approximately 18 inches. As this gripper is used and grips doors over and over again, the bolts that hold the gripper plates on will slowly move out and it will get larger and larger and eventually it won't grip a 1-6 door anymore. So then you need to adjust the gripper plates back to where they were to get that 17 inches again. To adjust the gripper plate to make the opening smaller, you would loosen these bolts on both sides and then slide them in the extrusions forward to make the gripper smaller. All right. so at the back of the loader there are two photo eyes. This photo eye here and it's looking across the opening at the back at this reflector. When the photo eye can see itself in the reflector, it knows the area is clear. If someone or something moves into the gripper zone, then it interrupts the photo eye, stops the loader, puts it in a pause condition. Then after that's happened, the loader can be restarted by the operator by simply going to the touch screen and reactivating the loader.